have you meet Dr. Julia Schulman. He's a member of the American Academy of Ophthalmology. He's an advocate of LASIK and performs up to 10 procedures himself. You believe it's safe that you've written a book that articulates quite nicely how it should be done and, and why it is safe. I don't want to minimize any complications of any patient that is suffering. To be honest with you, my blood is boiling a little bit now after hearing, hearing all this. Because uh, the complication rate is <clears throat> way less than 1%. Any medical problems that would make you a poor candidate, anything that's autoimmune would make you a poor candidate, such as a rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, fibromyalgia, um, lupus, Crohn's disease. Uh, medical problems can make you a poor candidate because certain eye conditions would make you a poor candidate. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, that would make you a poor candidate. If you ask anyone who's had LASIK, and are successful with it, it doesn't mean you are going to be successful. 55% of patients who had had LASIK surgery were wearing eyeglasses. They may be wearing glasses for reading, it wasn't driving at reading. night. Um, Patients, all patients who we counsel are told you may, you can't throw away your glasses for life. The main benefit is being free of glasses or contact lenses. You may need them part-time. That is the advertisement I have seen personally. I've seen the ad where they got, where the, I don't, it's, I'm not saying it's you, okay. and you may not be offending them, but the ad is, take throw your glasses away for good. That's not true. Well, I mean, I never say that, and most reputable doctors say the opposite. You cannot think you're going to throw your glasses away. You'll always need them part-time. So Makes them basically free to do whatever they want, uh, sports, driving, uh, work, uh, recreation without any glasses or contact lenses. Uh, the cornea may not be strong enough after LASIK for the health of the eyes. So